crazy. I, uh, I'm inside myself. <laughs> Elena isn't very popular at our school because she's kind of scary. At first, she didn't even like us, but after some time, she opened up. I've noticed that she's super protective over the one she loves. If you ever hurt uh, said loved ones, she'd hunt you down without restraint. She protected Axel from being bullied a few years ago. Axel still thinks he could have handled it himself, but I know he appreciates it anyway. And th there I am, just, just sit. There's an Azumarill plush right up there, and I don't know how to feel about it. I, uh... Bro, there's so many of them. Holy shit. What the fuck? Do you see that? That uh, that sparkle sparkle in the bottom right? This isn't good. What what on earth is going on here? Whatever it is, it's uh, this is not a normal storm. The cycling between types of storms and uh, unstableness of the ground. This truly may be the end of time itself. Huh? What the fuck? But in the face of the face of time, we can take on what we can. Got it? This is how it has to be. Arrow? Crescent, listen to me. You remember our promise, right? I will continue to protect you to the end. Of course, I'll protect you too. You can't protect me, it's just how things are right now. There's nothing we can do but oh well fuck, but admit defeat. Wrong. If you have the strength from within to back up your punch, you'll always stay swinging. Uh, this is the mantra I live by. I will live by it until the very end. Crescent, I cherish you. That is why I'm doing this stuff. Doing something to piss you off. Uh, sorry, just forgive me in the next life. Got it? Love you, Crescent. Yeah! That was uncool of me, Crescent. But uh, this is the winning play. Survive for all of us. That's our wish. I know it is. Never give up that punch and keep swinging. Wait, where was... Huh. Are we current... Are we in Axis High right now? This person is just invisible. They are just not here. Alrighty then. They're just... They're just not here. Cool. I'm talking to a ghost right now. Seriously, that was awful to go through that pain all over again. I know which one was Arrow 2, but they're, they're, they're just not here. The only thing that made it worse is that it didn't play out exactly how I remember. The Puppet Master's data seems to be incomplete, but it doesn't matter. It all ends the same way. What the hell are we supposed to do now? You've seen the hell we could not uh, have predicted, and yet you've come here to wake us up. Uh, the one thing we didn't want. I'm going to act on cool. I'll protect us from everything uh, having to re. Uh, I'll protect us from ever having to relive something so dreadful. I'll keep swinging. All right. Do you want to fight? What are we doing? I I don't like how she's just still invisible, or he is. I failed to protect my friends before. I let fear take hold of me and my actions. Not ever again. I respect you, B. But this is where I stand my ground. Be ready. Nigga, what? It's just me. Well, that's not fucking good. It's a Delphox. Hey, what's up, buddy? Stop that. Huh? Bloom Doom is what I just got fucking hit with. I'm about to knock the shit off of you. I'm about to knock you off so... Well, I can't knock him off because... He... Fuck you. That was a crit. Fucking bitch. That can hit me with a goddamn z move. Tyrantrum, what the fuck? There's no way this Tyrantrum fucking lives this shit. It's a Tyrantrum. There's no way that he lives a close combat from a hair across. What? Death! You will fear. You will suffer. He has a focus sash. Of course he has a focus sash. Why wouldn't he have a focus sash? 
Head smash. He missed. Man. Man, that's real awkward, isn't it, huh? Why is he faster than me now? Why? You know what? Fuck you. Ice shard. Die, peon. Eh? Alright, you, you got the crest up. I gotta be careful here. Uh... Does it crest make him electric dart? I don't remember what this shit does. Man. It's real awkward, ain't it, huh? Ow? Alright. Cool. I guess. You're still dead. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't care if you are me. Fuck you. That's a mega medicam, by the way. There's no, there's no way that it's not. By the way. It's 100% mega. Or, or you could just one-shot me. Alright. Very epic. It's life orb. It's life orb medicam. Anyway, I'm just gonna hot swap back into my Tyrantrum. A Tyrantrum or my Trevenant? Hot kick! <laughs> yep, that's cute. Ow. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, he's probably gonna ice punch me again. What my mods looking like? Uh, let me heal. Let me. Items cannot be used here, apparently, huh? Interesting. Apparently, items cannot be used in the shadow realm. Well, I'm just gonna ice shard him again. Fuck you. I sure. Nani? That, that's the mega. That's the fucking mega. It's a mega salamance. It's a mega fucking salamance, dude. There's no way that it's not mega salamance, right? There's no fucking way, bro. No, that's a hundred. Yep. Mm -hmm, that's a hundred percent the mega. The fuck do I do now? Earthquake. It's Moxie Salamance. Man. Cock and ball torture. Anyway. Just gonna. Do I outspeed this thing? Yup! Yup, there it goes! There, there goes the fucking Mega Salamance! Man, that's that's cool, I guess. Anyway, I I really can't beat this thing. It's just a, it's just a mega man's. The fuck am I supposed to do? Yep. Cock. Get away! It's going to be okay. I'm here. It's going to be okay. But if it won't be, we have to face Storm 9 again. Face that horror. We risk losing all of our friends once again. Malia, Alito, Ren, Aaron, everyone. Everyone we know. They're all going to die. We can, we'll do this together. Why do I have to? We have to be for, uh, We have been forced into a role that we wish to have no part in. A role that we cannot fulfill by us. Uh, fulfilled by us. We've asked for help. Wasn't that in our contract? Don't defy me. I will do what I must. Let's wake up together. Wake up, dumbass. Jesus, leave us alone! Doot doot.
there. That should do it. It took me a long time to gather your soul, but it's worth it. Arrow, please come back to me. We'll be together. Hey, what's up? Arrow. Arrow, you're back. You're finally back. I'm glad after everything, I was finally... Uh... Have you back in this world again? It can't be. We'll be okay. We're not in danger anymore. It was a bit of a task to get to this point, but we can start over at last. As long as I was able to take care of those loose ends, then everything should be able to fall into place. We all, uh, all we have to do is... Crescent, what have you done? Why did you bring me back? Huh? Aren't you happy? I gave you back your life. We can continue living our lives now. No, I just, I just wanted it to all be over. You brought me back. What are you talking about? I did this for you. I, I did this for us. I should be happy that I went through all the trouble to do this. My head. What's going on, Crescent? What did you do? I understand what's happening. You shouldn't be hearing things in your head. Maybe it's the side effect of the black device. Please, sleep for a while. You'll feel better after you've rested. I can promise you that. And then I get convenient amnesia and don't remember jack shit. The voices have stopped. Uh, what were they in the first place? Aha. Uh -huh. Vari... Yeah. Greetings. Who are you? I could ask you the same question, Arrow. But no, you aren't quite Arrow. You're much more than that. The voices in your head may be chaotic and loud, but they are not unfamiliar, yes? What do you want with me? I'm here because of your potential. This world won't last in its current state, and if left to continue, it will be destroyed by evil forces. I'm here to ask you for your help. Man, this is an experience, by the way. Us? Correct. You fit the criteria for my next interceptor. One who can change fate itself, one who lives outside of my own control. With your potential, I believe a good future may be possible. No. You can't. We don't want any of that. Can't you see? We don't want to be this interceptor. I don't know what you're talking about. I definitely do. We understand that the world has is on this path for ruin, but we just we just can't do that. So we're just so tired? I understand. Experiences with Storm 9 and the Nihiligo have torn away at yourself and spirit. You lack the ambition to bring out your potential and use its capabilities. Very well then. Allow me to offer you a deal. A contract, if you will. Whether or not you choose to accept it being accept being the interceptor, that is what you will be. However, I can call someone else for your help, and they'll do your duties for you. Do our duties for us? Correct! A being not from this world will inhabit your mind. As a result, you will be you will sleep deep in the subconscious of this individual you will be able to put your soul to rest however there is a caveat uh, to this particular deal in doing this the power the role of interceptor would present to you will be cut in half additionally you will lose control of your body permanently if you are to if you are to wake up again somehow this fact will not change it would be the equivalent of a second death. Do you understand? What about Crescent, our friend? We can't just abandon her. Not again. She'll be fine. I have a feeling this will work out somehow. That is based off data on her character. <laughs> what may actually happen is up in the air. You'll just have to take my word on this one. Uh, we would want nothing less of a perfect future for the people of this world. But our time on this planet has expired. We do not belong here. And as such, we accept this offer. Then the contract, you, Arrow, will be replaced by B. Then it's, then it is a contract. You, Arrow, will be replaced by B. The, uh, you, B, have been replaced. Okay. My interceptor, you will have no memory of this meeting. I will edit this world to fit your existence and criteria. Crescent will now call you B, and as that is what she knows, you'll be. Ah. And as that is what she knows, you by from this moment on, and you will bring prosperity and peace to the land of Avrium. No, to this world, to all worlds. 
You will be at saving grace. Oh, interceptor, great interceptor. Change our fate. That is your nature. Uh huh. Synchro summon. Nightmare Realm has been undone. B, you did it! All of the locks have been undone! The encryption placed upon this realm by Clear and Karen is completely gone! I know what I put you through was rough. I put you all through dangerous and life-threatening tasks. But with this, you've changed the world. Thank you. I will pay this debt, I promise. Hmm. Huh. Just, uh, yup cock. Alright. We might as well finish this out, because we don't, I don't know how much is left in this. So we, we're just gonna, just gonna keep going, I guess. Hazuki, what is the meaning of this? Darling, you know me. I can be such a pain sometimes. Those are your words, not mine. Whatever is going on, we can talk this through. Silence! You do not have the authority to bargain here. What? Is Amber also tied up? Thomas Blakery Jr., how dare you speak to me in such a way? After I took you in when you were young? But Thomas is right, dear. You have absolutely no authority. Why am I here? What purpose do you want me to fulfill? We'll get to that. Hmm. I don't know why Miss Von, Von Brandt is here, but she won't be an issue. I, I get in these types of situations a lot, it seems. Don't worry about your pretty gray head about it. Don't worry, Saki. I'm thinking of a way out of this. Hazuki, please. A couple months ago, dear Hazuki went... A couple months ago, dear Hazuki went to sleep after a long day of work. She dreamed as she would of another day, another life, until in this dream, a man in a mask appeared. They called him the Puppet Master. The Puppet Master showed Hazuki a lot of interesting things. Things that would change Hazuki's life forever. Dreams? Puppet Master? What on earth? Do you want to know what I've learned? I learned that Mr. Blakery was nothing more than a human worth less than shit. Hmm. A man who manipulated everyone who he came across. Even naive old Hazuki at the age of 25. Of course, you remember Storm Nine. Do you remember how you found me unconscious after a perilous battle? Do you remember what you told me? I, I recall saying something about your friends. You said my friends had rescued and ordered me to get on the nearest evacuation ship. And me, being far too naive for my own good, trusted your words. We got on the boat with your little suitcase and I never saw my friends again. It was a lie. All of it. Wait, is this the OG Hazuki? Oh shit, it might be. It actually might be OG Hazuki. Huh. My friends were still fighting down in the ruins. That's what the Puppy Master showed me. The one thing I've regretted all my life is that I didn't do more that day. An intrusive thought quelled by the reason of I couldn't. But it turns out that was not the case. I was manipulated by a man I loved. I... There's more! The reason why you lied to me, li uh, lied to get me on that ship, was because you cared for me. It wasn't because you cared for me. It was because I was the only way you could force yourself into my family's wealth. And if the storm overpowered and killed me, well then... There would be no one to marry, right? Hazuki, that isn't true. I love you. Mr. Blakery, once Hazuki and I marry, our financial situation will be reversed. Blakery's will claim its throne at the top of the corporate world. That, that voice me memo. This is you, right? I remember your young voice very well. Fabricated. This was created to frame me. Yes. And I believe the fact that you got your father killed is fabricated too. Is the fact that you and Cassandra are tied to Team Zen, uh, Team Zen's affair in some way fabricated? Azuki, where'd you learn that? So it's true then. Hmm. 
Interesting. You don't know the circumstances of this. Circumstances do not matter. Or they don't matter. Now, Saki, you are the heiress of the Blakery Asset and Foundations. All of the terrible things your grandfather has done will fall onto you. But you can be free of this disgusting curse. All you have to do is kill Thomas Baron Blakery. What? Grandmother, this isn't what we what was discussed. Quiet! I didn't say you had an authority to chip in. Kill? I why me? Out of everyone in this world, I think you're the one uh he actually cares for. If you're the one that severs ties, then that would break him. I wanna see his face change as he realizes he's about to die. I wanna see his face change when he realizes that his own beloved granddaughter was the one to do it. I want to see his face change when he realizes all the atrocities he's committed come right back at him in one fell swoop. Do it, Saki. And it's Reign of Terror. Right now, Yo, there's a blade on the table. Saki. By the way, your dear grandpa is the reason why all of your friends uh, suffered in the first place. He rigged things in your favor. He cheated your, uh, cheated your way up the ladder. The device you created for the top-notch student competition was supposed to be in third place. I wonder how many potential futures he's ruined because of that. Your life has been one he's designed from the beginning. In a way, your life wasn't truly yours, just an extension of his own. Saki, don't. Being a murderer won't solve anything. Do you remember East Garen Fire? When it was done, all of the blame was put onto me, even after Venom's dad took responsibility. Ever since then, people would look at me differently, with cold eyes. They took, they looked at me as if I was subhuman trash, as if I was a monster. If you do this, you will be looked at with those same cold eyes. Nonsense. Death is uh, death in a nightmare realm equals a clean death in real life. There'll be no trace of Saki's involvement in such a deed. She's on the side of justice. Even still! Saki, you're better than any of this. Uh, you always get yourself into wacky hijinks and odd scenarios. Even if you end <laughs> up hurting someone, you always find a way to make things better. Please, I'm begging you. Don't do what Hazuki asked of you. The cycle of evil within the Blakery family won't end. It'll continue. If you want to change things, you can. You're the heiress of the Blakery Corporation. Stand up and make a change yourself. Amber! Thomas, tighten the restraints. That will shut her up. Don't you dare! Hey! Hmm? That should keep you from misbehaving. Now, Saki, it's time. End all of this. You coward. Hmm? You're nothing more than a coward, Hazuki. To push Saki to make such a heinous decision. If you really want justice, you just turn him in for his crimes and be done with it. No, you want to, you want bloody revenge, and you're making someone else dirty their hands for you. Isn't that just like Mr. Blakery, you hypocrite? Just as corrupt as any other corporation trash out there. You sicken me, just. Oh man, yo, she was slapping the shit out of her, huh? Disgusting child, you have no idea what you're talking about! Jesus Christ, they're just, they're still going, by the way. Mm -mm -mm. You have those cold eyes, too. Your eyes are one, your eyes are someone who has nothing else to lose. Hazuki died all that time ago. The person in front of me is just a corpse without a soul. You bi- Don't get so easily baited next time! Let's go! Get out of here! Follow me. I know a way out of the nightmare realm. I'm so confused. What the heck is happening? We'll explain later. First, we gotta wake up. Now, children, just where are you going? Let's have a chat. How is this still going? <laughs> Talk is still fucking going. B, you did it! Woo! Way to go, B. I knew you could do it. I was skeptical, but Risa said she'd beat the shit out of me if I continued to be. I said no such thing. Don't make me out to be abusive. Alright, settle down, you two. 
This mo this is a moment of celebration. We can't celebrate just yet. The encryption locks are down, but the Puppet Master actually has to retrieve the data. Yeah! And we also have to deal with clearing clearing uh Karen's data. Right, right. What do you two have to say for yourselves? She's concentrating, don't mind her. Concentrating on what? Can I ask you a question, Alita? Could you perhaps could perhaps you be the traitor? Ha, huh, thought so. Traitor? You? You were the traitor, Alita? Yeah, it's true. I'm the traitor. But me being the quote unquote traitor only means that I knew that this game was uh was happening beforehand. When everyone went to sleep last night, Hazuki stopped me before going to bed. She told me uh, she already caught everyone in her trap and I had to play along. If I did, I would have a chance to corner someone I've been hunting. I can assume this person would be me? Yes. But I, have no uh, but I had no choice in this matter. If I hadn't joined, the game would have been impossible to complete. Truthfully, the word traitor doesn't really apply to Alita. We just threw that word out to stir up a pot for Claire and Karen. Well, you got your answer. Now it's my turn to ask questions. Why Risa? Why did you impersonate her? Why uh, impersonate her when you already took so much? Uh, took looked so much like Zara. Simple. She was a valuable asset. Her condition with Mr. Blakery or her connection with Mr. Blakery, her income and status in this region all played favorably for me. You use my face, my identity, for such an evil reason? I will never forgive you for this. Bitch, you dead. You can't forgive anybody. Your forgiveness is pointless and unwanted anyway. Uh, it's also because she was popular amongst the gym leaders in GDC, isn't it? I've been thinking about the changes in MO originally. Zara targeted people with the same GPA as Saki Blakery. After she was killed, uh, almost all of her victims were gym leaders. Talon, Vanum, Akin, Saki, Adam, Valerie. These are all people who have been hurt by your schemes. Sharp, you're absolutely correct. Thinning this, uh, out the Cillian's army is vital. Cillian's army? Dion, B, you learned about yourself in that light nightmare room, yeah? Allow me to offer a trade for information. In your nightmare room, Arrow said that the events in, in there didn't play out the same way. Do you know why? <laughs> nah, I'm good. Unfortunately, I'm going to tell you anyway. Listen up. There's something I omitted from my original story. There were actually three of us in the beginning. Me, Karen, and our third partner, Eden. Third member. There were three of you. Yes! And do you know why we use the word where in this context? They killed him because Crescent destroyed them. Eden was doing data on past Adrian and she came into contact with that feral cat. Ever since then, Crescent and the two of us had had some sort of rivalry. But besides, that's besides the point. Right, there's something that little Saki and Amber didn't get a chance to bring up earlier. Uh, why did we kidnap Saki, Adam, and Valerie and put them in a pause? B saw this as well, so I'll ask them. Uh, why do we put the three of them in pods? Uh, to suppress them, to test them, test something, to harm them, to clone them. I wouldn't it be to suppress them because they suppress their personalities and all that shit. A positive and intended side effect, just a side effect though. Uh, so it's not. It's, uh. I guess to test something, right? Ding, 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 you're correct. We use them as a way to test our newest experiment. Using the matter cubes, we were trying to see if we could take the consciousness of a certain person and move them over to an entirely new body. <laughs> you move your consciousness into a new body? That means Adam, Valerie, and Saki, we've interacted, are just copies. The real selves are sleeping away in those pods. Their minds are walking around in dolls we've created for them. But why? Why'd you do all this? Longevity! After Eden was destroyed, we became aware of our mortality. Uh, if we're destroyed, 
the mission is over. So, what if we just transferred our collective consciousness over to a new body when ours get destroyed? Or better yet, what if we're able to copy our minds and store them, uh, stored in a database, which would allow us to make many copies of ourselves as needed? That is why you uploaded your data to the Lagnosomnia engine. In the event that you were destroyed, a new version of you would pop up instantly. Correct. We tried to upload Eden's data too, but his drive was far too gone. The data we could enter was incomplete, disjointed, and fractured. It is why B's Nightmare Rome was far from more abstract than the others. You two. You two are inhumane monsters! Because we're not the same as you? In that case, you should reevaluate re things as one of your best friends would classify as a monster too. Huh? Here, we'll give you a peek. What did you just do? I implanted the events of B's Nightmare Rome experience into your mind. Like a roll of film to a projector. It's all there for your viewing. B, you're... As a result of our perfected experiment, an illustrious example of our exemplary work. I said before that my procedure is seamless, painless, and impossible to differentiate. The entire time you've been friends with a deceased individual stuck inside of a doll. B, I, bro. Bro, don't let her get to you. I, I do not care. I might be a, a, a soul inside of a doll, but bitch, I'm built different. Right, I'm gonna let her manipulate you. I mean, uh, manipulation tear us apart. How heartwarming. A uh, little experiment from me. Could you all describe B to me? Hmm? Just do it. Just as I suspected, B's soul is made up of several different ones, particularly the one you all saw in the Nightmare Realm. How interesting. And that's enough for now. Our trade is complete. Here you go again with this trade business. Explain everything you know. I trade information for time. Y'all know what I mean in three, two, no. Marisa, what's going on? Karen and Claire were trying to stop the Puppet Master from hacking their data in the real world. Entities of the Lignosomni engine cannot interfere with the machine. We're not able to intervene with their inputs. Correct. You are powerless here. Damn it. Uh, what about the reinforcements the Puppet Master set up? You mean the sassy fox and the nerdy kid and the other two who, who don't matter? Non-issues for us. Ah, oh, this is bad. Risa, Zeta, Sek, wake us all up. We can do something about this. Waking all of you up will take too long. It takes time to bring multiple people out of the Nightmare Realm. Hey, we then send B and Alita. We can wait here. Agreed. They're most adept for this situation. Right, okay. I'll wake B and Alita up. B, let's wake up. We're the only ones who can do this. The way the <laughs> Lego Somni engine... Uh, the way to land the Somni is through the channel underneath the fountain. So let's hurry up. Wow. Uh, looks like Amber was right after all. Bro, what the fuck is... Nandato! Nani? Alright, we're gonna stop there. That was a lot of talking. Like, a lot, a lot. We'll be back in the, the next episode. And we will stop the... the We'll stop clearing Karen from deleting their information, pretty much. They're trying to they're trying to delete their browser history, and the puppet master is like, no, no, no. Stop that. So that being said, I'm gonna get out of here. Deuces.